Welcome back. Over the years, we've shared the stories of hundreds of SRA scholars, but we've never been a part of a student's story before until Israel Levine. Being the person that takes my family out of poverty is always the goal. This is Israel Levine in January of 2021. At the time, a senior at Mission High School in San Francisco, revealing to KPIX5 his dream school, Morehouse College in Atlanta. Morehouse, I wanted to go to an HBCU. They hold a lot of values that I feel represent a lot of my life, you know what I'm saying? They teach you like how to be a man. Israel's interview and story airing on KPIX 5, then posting to the Students Rising Above page on the station's website, catching the eye of one very special viewer. I was really excited to see the story. Kevin D. Chapman Jr., Assistant Director of the Bonner Office of Community Service at Morehouse College, who sent us this email asking how he could get in contact with Israel. When I saw the story, I saw a man who was determined to succeed and to bring others along with him. In some ways, I kind of saw myself. I saw the brothers that we support in the different communities around Morehouse and across the country. The two were connected, and the rest, as they say, is history. Dear Israel, I am excited to welcome you as the newest member of the class of 2025 at Morehouse College. Israel reading his acceptance letter to Morehouse, grateful beyond words for the full financial scholarship package he is receiving. When I got that email, it's just like a whole weight lifted off of me. I felt amazing. Great news for an incredible young person who's been through a lot growing up in one of the toughest neighborhoods in San Francisco, seeing friends and loved ones lose their lives to incarceration and gun violence. Just three days before my birthday, my father passed away. And losing his own father to a heart attack. Days before Israel needed to complete his college applications, the family in shock and grief. My mom just really broke down about it. My brothers, it's crazy. My little sisters lost their superhero. I'm saying I lost my pops. It just, yeah, I didn't really know how to feel for a long time. Israel lost his beloved father, but not his spirit. He says he will carry it to Morehouse, the first of his siblings to go to college. It's a story and a student we could not be more proud of. Morehouse's Chapman Jr. agrees. Yes. I want to thank you all for this segment, uh, Students Rising Above. If it wasn't for the platform that you give students such as Israel, we wouldn't be able to provide this opportunity. Well, if this next Students Rising Above story were a Hollywood movie, it would probably be more of a buddy film than a blockbuster. But either way, it would have two leads, each sharing the role of hero. <laughs> Maximus Vega and his dad, Steven, are best friends. The duo's favorite pastime, watching movies. In fact, Maximus is named after a very famous movie character. I already thought Maximus was a cool name, and then we saw a movie Gladiator, and I thought, what could be a better name than that? A great name for a great kid, dedicated to his single dad. Maximus was just five years old when Stephen was diagnosed with cancer, leaving him unable to work. The family would eventually lose their home. We went through about four years of homelessness, maybe five. It was real tough. But uh, even when we were in the shelter program, Max still excelled at school. That may be an understatement. While his family was homeless, Maximus had a perfect attendance record several years in a row. Along the way, he completed 238 hours of volunteer work before graduating in 2020 with a 4.5 GPA from Casa Grande High School in Petaluma. My major right now is psychology, and then I was also planning on minoring in mathematics. What I really want to plan on doing after college is being like a talk therapist. I just really want to be able to help people in a job, be able to satisfy my passion while also helping others. When you're going through tough times, his passion for serving others led Maximus to tutoring jobs. Three years ago, the family moved into a new home, and now Maximus helps his little sister with her schoolwork, too. I tutor in math. That's the main subject that I tutor in. I couldn't be more proud of my son, for sure. Stephen appreciates his son's caring heart. At times when I felt sick or wasn't doing very well, could barely get out of bed, he was the pusher and, you know, enthusiasm that that got me up. Maximus is grateful for his dad's health. Today, thinking back to now, I'm just like, 
wow, I can't believe how much he went through. And as this father and son enjoy each other's friendship, both see the other as a true hero. The name, you know, I picked that name out and it fit because he, he conquered school like a gladiator. <laughs> and he's still doing it.